Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. So Bitcoin continues to head down further here. We already talked about that earlier today. Um, I think when I made my video this morning, Bitcoin had already dropped below the ascending channel here, this upward sloping channel. Um, I have highlighted in, was it today's or in yesterday's video here, this resistance area for you, which obviously shows clearly where Bitcoin is bouncing off from. And we talked about this being um, possibly still an ABC pattern. So basically that wave two isn't in yet. And the reason for that is because there is quite choppy um, price action to the upside yet that does not yet justify the view that we are in a third wave in yellow. So at the moment, the view would be that we haven't actually started the third wave yet, at least not wave three in yellow due to the, um, well, the choppy price action because we have also the wave B here wasn't entirely impulsive. So my view is actually that we're putting in here some kind of a flat pattern, a wave A, a wave B, and we're coming down in C. We also discussed that this could be a triangle. We don't really know that until we see more sideways movement. But um, yeah, the idea in the previous video was that, especially as we dropped out of this trend line to the downside, we could come down lower in wave C. We're currently doing that. Um, but the overall interpretation of the chart hasn't changed. So it remains the view that as long as we're holding this support line here or support area, support box between 16,070 and 16,470, um, as long as we're holding this support area, we should be good for an increase in wave three or a move up in wave three. Now it could very well be that this wave C will drop slightly below this support box, but there isn't much more space it can uh, it has because if it goes really below the um, the low here of 15,830, it will invalidate this one two setup. So ideally it holds sort of the area around the wave A low, maybe a little bit lower, but should ideally move up um, before it reaches the 16,070 US dollars, right? And then it could move up in a third wave can't exactly give you a price target for wave three in yellow yet. Um, not based on the latest interpretation that we will come down a bit lower in wave C because um, we don't know where the low is, but let's say we come down to that 16,070 level, then a target would be 18,240 for the wave three in yellow. So this is a very, very well-defined support area, support box um, where obviously, you know, there is an opportunity for a bounce for a possible long trade with a tight stop loss somewhere below that area and maybe even below the swing low here from the 14th of November. So it is clear support and there's always a chance for a bounce, same way that we've bounced here from the resistance area to the downside. And really it remains the view that until we really break above the wave B high here at 17,100, we don't really have the evidence that we're already in a third wave. Now what we're looking for is now a further decline in probably five waves in the wave C so this could be a one, two, we might be in three now. Um, so we want to see that. And then we want to get the reversal. We want to see five waves up on a lower time frame. That would be the first signal that things are changing and turning around in a third wave. Ideally an impulsive move up. Yeah. So we'll see. Um, but we are still stuck in this sort of below this sort of resistance box here. Um, and overall, all of this, you know, even, even this entire move could become a triangle. Yeah, we, we just need to keep the options open here still for Bitcoin. Now we can trade obviously based on those micro setups here. Um, and again, short term, we can entertain the idea of moving higher here as long as this support level holds. But I, I can really tell you there is still the very, very realistic chance of one more low. Again, the longer this sideways movement takes, for me, the more likely it gets that we will drop down once more in a, in a fifth wave. But even if we come down in a fifth wave once more, maybe into the region between 14 and 16, uh, 14 and 15K, even then ideally, I mean, ideally um, we'd like to see here a little bit more upside because this could very well be uh, still the way four ongoing in green, yeah? So if we if we look at the Fibonacci so, uh, resistances for the third, uh, sorry, the fourth wave in green, um, let me just, so then you can see that actually an ideal retracement for the fourth wave is the 38.2% FIP level. Now that was reached already here on the 10th of November, but it could even reach the 50% FIP level. The, the thing is 
that the move to the downside was not clearly impulsive. So from that high um, here on the 10th of November, that 17,850 level, that 38.2% FIB level, the move down wasn't entirely impulsive. So had that been an impulse, yeah, then um, that could have already been the wave one of five. But because it doesn't didn't really look impulsive, my view is that there is a good chance we move up further. And we don't really know yet if that will be a breakout or if it is just a higher high in a wave four. But we just need to keep options open. I will guide you step by step here through the process. And obviously we need to take it step by step with Bitcoin level by level. And then we will know more, you know. Um, for me at the moment, as long as this support level is holding, the trend is short term possibilities are up. Yeah, either in a wave four, which would come down in a wave five again, or here in the yellow wave count to the upside. So fair enough. A lot of uncertainty in the market at the moment. You know that. Yeah, we know that. The Elliott waves allow us to, to see that there is uncertainty because, you know, both possibilities are there. Just to explain as well, obviously, we made that lower low here. Uh, it came down to the $15,600 level. Um, we made that lower low. And that is always then a new possibility for the chart to find a bullish structure. Now, it hasn't done that yet. There is a certain element here, a certain potential, but the bullish count is not highly reliable so always need to say that as well yeah um okay now that's fine that's uh, bitcoin hope you like the update about bitcoin if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership thanks a lot for watching bye bye